Oh man, I've seen so many reasons to why casuals leave this game so fast. From, oh, they're just Xenoverse scrubs, to, uh, the matchmaking sucks, the everything sucks. But I feel as if uh, this is there is one big reason that everyone ignores, and you know how a lot of people are using normal pads, right? These things. Execution-wise, this game is very easy to master, but at some point, game becomes very fast-paced and you need to press buttons fast. And sometimes your finger wiggles, like this, on one button, one single button. For instance, I'm going back with Android 21 and then suddenly, whoop, she jumps. And that's it, you have failed to block a mix-up or you have failed a combo. The same goes with the down button and all the other buttons. You wiggle your finger in not necessary millimeter and that's it, you're not pressing down anymore. You're pressing down forward or not down back but uh, up something, whatever, you get the idea. And no, my controller is not broken, it's two months old. The same would go with any other controller, whatever. I just purposely chose that one because it's the right color for you to witness that I'm only pressing one button. The saddest part about it is that your only excuse is Bro, I blocked, but nobody believes you because, well, you got hit. It's also important to know that this is not the game being evil to pad players or something. If you go into, for example, Guilty Gear, which was developed by Arc Systems 2, you will notice that the same shit happens there too. But no, it's not because Arc Systems is evil. If you go on KOF or Street Fighter, I'm 90% sure the same shit will happen there. The reason for that is the construction of the controller. Putting pressure on one side will automatically cause another to move. It's just one piece of plastic that is not suited for fast-paced games, when Injustice or MK where you have block button, you don't feel it that much since uh, the game itself does not require you to move it extra intensely. There are very high-paced fighters that don't require any precision at all, like those popular anime games, Storm 4, Burning Blood, Xenoverse, you name it. I think those are the only type of fighting games that are not affected by this problem at all. And the only way to cure it is to buy uh, a stick that no casual player will do. But a lot of casuals will buy Dragon Ball Fighters because the game itself has this image of Oh, it's so casual friendly that you can master it and go all pro in a matter of minutes without realizing that this problem exists. I think that the frustration from the fact that you block that obvious mix-up but then it still hit you, those matchmaking, rage quits, all of this stacks up and uh, people just live to their favorite universes. Anyway, those were just my meditations looking at the game. Just sharing. There's nothing better than sharing, right?